so from this side to hopefully somewhere over there is uh, one kilometer. And so the Kraken SDR will be set up where I'm standing and the, hopefully the 802.11H connection will make it over to the other side where the laptop will have DF aggregator and uh, access to SDR for space. All right, so here's the client side setup with the uh, GPS going for the uh, well into the Steam Deck for the Kraken SDR Hack RF, which is going to be tied to the um, SDR for Space and Whisper CPP. You got the Alpha card there that's doing the 802.11ah, uh, multiple hubs, uh, battery is powering it all, and then uh, the case that I've shown in the past. Uh, the, the dragon, uh, what do they call it? The war dragon, and then the uh, backpack and the antenna amount that you may have seen online. Um, just so happens the person that made this is uh, not that far away and offered to help uh, with the setup of this video because I definitely wasn't going to leave equipment on the other side of the lake uh, unattended. And so, yep, this all worked out pretty good. All right, so now I'm on the other side where I hope to connect to the Kraken that's somewhere over there, over 802.11H. Okay, so here I am out here uh, one kilometer away, roughly um, somewhere in here, away from a Kraken SDR station that was uh, that is set up that I showed in the clips before here and uh, what's happening right now is there's a alpha network 802.11ah adapter on both ends so on the end that I'm recording on which is my laptop here across the lake has an 802.11ah standard antenna that comes with it no directional antenna no not, nothing special talking one kilometer away to a Valve Steam Deck that's running Dragon OS and the Kraken SDR software. There's a Kraken SDR plugged in. There's a Hack RF plugged in. It's all into USB hubs. It's all being powered by a battery. And I'll show why the Hack RF here in a second. Um, this is DF Aggregator pulled up locally on my laptop. I wanted to pull this up just so I could. So I've shown in the past how to start it. Look at my previous videos, and I've added the IP address under this little hamburger menu, I've added the IP address on the 802.11ah network that I've created here to pull this information in remotely from the Kraken SDR. Uh, let me show real quick, so when I say these 802.11ah adapters, they're actually running OpenWRT in this case, and the uh, driver and everything is compiled in, and I have just set it up in a client and AP mode. So. Uh, it's it's uh, still uh, where uh, it'll show like channels in um, you know your typical 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, but those channels translate into 900 megahertz. Uh, well, depending on what country you're in, but 900 megahertz frequencies. And I think I have this one on. Well, I have this one on channel eight, which should be about four megahertz wide bandwidth according to the ch chart I was provided. And so this is just me locally on the client device that's plugged in. And then, of course, the other one is on the other end set in access point mode. So if I grab my um, handheld radio here. And so we're on 435. Again, over in this area, just wanted to show that it is pretty accurate. So uh, holding down and going to transmit. And well, actually, like generally in this area here, and we should see the uh, lobs start to come over in this area here. So, holding it down, uh, we can see. I mean, it's like, like pretty much like dead spot on. So, if you had multiple stations set up over this 802.11ah, um, and, and I'm still holding, holding it down, keying it up. If I had like a a transmitter other than a handheld um, I could I could leave it on a little longer but so you can see like how accurate uh, and I did release so it'll go back to you know wherever but 
um, you can see how accurate you can get uh, with the Kraken SDR to find like a, a transmitter or you know whatever. So let's add to this. I'm going to SSH in to the uh, steam deck here, a kilometer away, a rate of 211 AH. And so I've shown this in the past too, SDR for space. Now there will be some updates to SDR for space. This is still the older file structure, but the same, nearly the same will apply. And you can run it various different ways. I'm just going to show this particular time to show what I did. So settings JS, I got a frequency of 435, my gain and threshold. Those numbers may be different as I update SDR for space, but those are the big ones I needed to change. Um, and then an MQTT FM whispers, the script we're going to use. And I'm not, I didn't have enough time to set up the MQTT server, but you, what I would recommend is you set that server up and you can have multiple stations feeding the messages back to one location. I did change the driver to HackRF. And so now, let's just, run, like ideally you would have this running remotely and sending to the MQTT server that you would have locally. But let me just use sudo, and I'll show how this works at one kilometer away. So while we're DFing, uh, direction finding, let's run this script with, oop, I forgot, it's kind of hard to see my screen, dash F. And so now that's creating that baseline. And now if I um, turn this radio back on, so I'm a kilometer away, let's see, test, let's see, let's go here. Test, test, test. Oop, okay, I'm gonna stand up a little bit, so. All right, this is a test, testing the reception and the transcribability. So now, it's going to, oop, let's see, kind of valid, it's thrown by user code, let's see here. Test, test, test. Okay, we'll let this run again. Feed it to Whisper. It's processing that using the trained model that's in Dragon OS. And okay, so that didn't get a good decode on that one. Let's see. All right, testing one, two, three. Okay, so all right, testing one, two, three. So that's that remote station recording the IQ quickly, uh, doing the demodulation, and feeding it to Whisper, and then transcribing it back, uh, well, so that I could see it. Again, you'd probably set that up like where everything could occur remotely. And yeah, so uh, still some things to like, you know, work out. This could be. Could be uh, definitely improved on uh, but I'm just excited that uh, it's been able to connect from that great of a distance nothing special antenna wise um, yeah there is like you know pretty much line of sight but uh, yeah it's working really great really happy with the alpha network uh, 802 11 h cars that uh, were picked up online uh, you can get those at um, Rokeland R-O-K-L-A-N-D dot com. Uh, that's where those were picked up at. And then, of course, thanks to uh, Gray Scott Gadgets, uh, the HackRF, and then the RTL SDR blog for the uh, Kraken SDR. All right. Thanks for uh, watching, and hopefully this inspires um, you know others to get something like this set up. Obviously, take a little more time with the um, antenna array to more accurately... DF and preferably set up multiple stations so that you could get those cuts and fixes. All right, thanks.